Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Helen, also known as Aricare. And in this video, I'm going to be going through some advice I have for anyone that wants to study computer science, whether that's university, in college, or even just for your GCSEs. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to go through a few things that I've learned over the past year or two. And yeah, let's jump right into it. So I just completed my second year studying computer science. I never had opportunity to study computer science for my A-levels or even for my GCSEs. So when I did go to university to study computer science, I basically went fresh and I went with interest and it's because it's something I've always wanted to do. But I was kind of debating between computer science and nursing, but like anything computer technology wise has always been like my calling. So I did eventually just go in, follow my heart. To study computer science in university and that's where i am now and i am enjoying myself and i'm so happy with my decision because if i went to go study nursing i don't know where i'd be right now i don't think i have the interest in nursing computer science has always been my thing like computers have always been my thing so it just made sense for me to go and study computer science for real at university and get a degree in it so the first advice I do have for anyone that wants to study computer science is that you do not have to be a five-star coder. Like you don't have to have been coding for the past 10, 15 years of your life. I'm telling you, you don't have to. When you do go to study computer science in university or even for college or A-levels, it's something that like computer science is one of them subjects that you have to have interest for. If you don't have interest in it, I'm telling you, you will not enjoy the subject. That's that's pretty much it it's just one of them subjects that if you don't have like a calling for it if you don't have that much interest in it you will not enjoy it like period you won't enjoy it <laughs> but yeah so before studying computer science you don't have to know how to code html how to code python c++ you don't have to know how to code any of that because that's what the whole subject is for it's for them to teach you and for you to learn and for you to gain more skills so honestly you can go just without nothing when i did start computer science i literally had no prior knowledge of anything computer science wise the summer before i did start year one for computer science i did go a little bit over python a little bit of html but not like that in detail that i could make a program like from scratch it was just for me to kind of know a few like a few keywords like that was the main thing why i went through it just so that if people like when they say things in the class i want to be like oh i have no idea <laughs> what i'm doing <laughs> but yeah so expect to get to your class and there will be some a star coders some people have been coding since they were since they could type literally so many people have been coding since who knows when because um, maybe because maybe their parents or they've always just had that interest and they went straight for it so yeah, when you do go, don't be scared because you don't know how to code. It's normal. I didn't know how to code before I started my computer science course. I mean, I'm still not the best coder now, but I have gained more skills. So yeah, don't be scared if you enter your class and you're the only one that doesn't know how to code. It's normal. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Like, that's why, that's why you're there. That's the reason you went to that class. That's the reason you picked that subject. To learn. So like I was saying before, computer science is one of them subjects where you have to have the will and be able to adapt. I don't want to sugarcoat anything. Computer science is a very intense course. Like if you know you don't really like computers or you want to you want to find out if you like computers, computer science is not the course for you. Because I'm telling you, when I started first year, before my lectures even started, I was given a box and was told to go build a robot. Literally. Because like me... I didn't have that much prior knowledge of anything, robot building, I had no knowledge of anything. So they literally handed me a box and they told me, go build a robot. I was terrified. <laughs> Luckily this wasn't like Einstein work, so it, I did have a manual and, and like a way to build it. But yeah, it's something that it can scare you really quickly. But if you're willing to adapt and if you're willing to learn new things, then computer science may be the course for you. Computer science is a very diverse subject. Um, when I did go to university to study computer science, I kind of had an idea of what I wanted to learn, like some specific things I wanted to learn. But like I said before, when I did first start, I was told to go build a robot. <laughs> it really catches you off guard. The actual computer science like course is so diverse. It's a mixture between cybersecurity, data science, you know, web design, web development, software engineering. It's literally a whole lot of everything in one subject. Like. It's intense. <laughs> so if you do want to go on to study computer science, do not expect to major in a specific subject. That would not happen. You're going to be taught everything, literally. 
everything from cyber security to data science from data science to app development you'll be taught it all if you do want to go into a more specific role or more specific like major then check with the university if they offer like an actual specific course for what you want to learn because if you're not if you do end up choosing computer science i'm telling you you're gonna learn everything even maths oh my gosh i forgot to mention you learn a lot of maths <laughs> and not the normal a-level maths computer maths it's a lot it's a lot so yeah don't be like me that kind of entered computer science thinking i'm gonna learn the specific thing that i wanted to learn initially and like that's all i'm gonna learn well, i knew that was not all i was gonna learn but i thought it was gonna be a big part of what i was gonna learn but let me tell you i've only spent one semester in my two years of university on what i wanted to learn so yeah don't expect to learn exactly what you want they're gonna teach you everything and everything it's kind of one of them courses where they teach you so much that you can decide what you want to go into so the next advice i can give you if you want to go study computer science is that there will be people that are better than you i can't really sugarcoat it there will be people that will be better than you like period and to when there's nothing you can really do about it for me like i said before i went into um university studying computer science with no prior knowledge so when i did enter and people in my group were like 10 year coders they've been coding for this long they've even worked for companies coding so for me i was scared <laughs> all i can say is don't let it get the best of you there's nothing you can really do about it it's not your fault that your your interest for computer science just came out of nowhere like for me i've always had the love for computers but i never really pursued it it's something i thought i'll just do it on the side or i won't really take it serious but then it was literally that summer that was like do you know what i think this is actually what i want to do because like i said i was the, i was battling between nursing and computer science two very different subjects so I just had to like go with my heart to go with computer science. So yeah, don't be scared if people are better than you. Like I said before earlier in the video, you're there to learn. So even in the computer science class, there are two different types of people that will be in your class. People that are willing to help you and people that don't want to share. It's really sad because some people are just so kind of uptight. Well, I don't want to say uptight, but like they just don't really like to help out or how do i word this without sounding weird there are going to be some people that they want to help you but the way they help you they don't they may not know they're doing this but they're kind of putting you down like they what you've been coding for like five years i have no prior knowledge of coding and you want to help me out and then they're like oh yeah you should basically do this oh and do that i'm just like slow down i have no idea what you're talking about <laughs> so yeah when you do enter your class the first advice i can give you is to pick your friends wisely computer science is just one of them one of them courses that you just you need to have friends it's not something you can do alone unless i don't know unless you're like a 20 year colder then i mean do you but <laughs> most of the people in that class are not most people are like you they have no prior knowledge so try and make as many friends as you can but like i said beware of those that seem like they're gonna do a lot of work and then you never see them again <laughs> cough cough <laughs> computer science is such a weird subject mainly because of the people you find in that class literally some people don't want to talk to you they don't want to help you and some people are willing are ready to start a company with you like <laughs> it's so weird but this is just one of them subjects that you just meet so many different types of people and you just have to keep your eyes open to pick the right group of people to be with so yeah so the last advice i do have for this video if you want to study computer science is to stay on top of it if you want to study computer science you can't leave everything to last minute i've done that a few times because of other reasons but honestly you will fall behind very quickly you may think you're missing that one class that one lecture you like you won't miss too much you will miss it all that one class is going to be what literally knocks you off once you miss the one class you miss the rest it's so easy to fall behind when it comes to computer science because you're always learning new things each week each week is so important because honestly you get different types of information so yeah make sure you'll stay on top of your work always adapt and always keep on learning try to do some work outside of class because honestly it will make the biggest difference i experienced that myself this year outside of class i was doing extra work and honestly it made my work go from a zero to a hundred real quick like i went from here to there real quick <laughs> yeah so i just wanted to advise those people that are looking into studying computer science people that are studying computer science this september hopefully when university starts again and yeah i just wanted to give you some advice that would help you out and things you should make sure you pay attention to um if you do have any more questions about computer science that you want me to answer university wise work wise 
then make sure you just leave it down below i'll be willing to help and answer as many questions as i can i don't know everything but i'll be willing to try and answer the questions i can answer and those that i can't i will refer you to the people i know can probably give you a better answer so if you guys want me to make any other video related to computer science just let me know i'll be willing to make them and i can try and give as much advice as i can and yeah if you guys like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up make sure to follow me on all my socials they'll all be linked down below if you don't want to comment your questions down below you can dm me on instagram you can message me on snap twitter anything you like i don't really mind you can even drop me an email if that's your thing so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time